Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Matthew back with another episode of Wadi's channel. Just want to thank everyone for joining me for the next session of the comparable LJN figures, uh, where we review both original figures as well as some of the customs I have acquired over time. So, in this particular video, we are going to be looking at both Slick and the Bobby Heenan manager figures. So great thing is, uh, I did choose two figures or two different people to talk about in this particular video because I don't have an overly excessive amount of either figure. So I don't expect the video to go really long, maybe 15 minutes at most. So uh, per usual, we will start with original figure and then we'll dive into some of the customs and uh, I'll just kind of describe some of the things that I look forward and what I like about the particular figure. So we will start off with the Bobby Heenan figure. So from the original LJN line, uh, this thing Bobby Heenan came out in series two, I want to say. Bobby Heenan actually came out with two, a couple of different variant figures. Uh, this one has, I believe they call them scrolls on the shirt. This is an absolute uh, beautiful piece. Bobby Heenan, he used to wrestle himself before he became a full-time manager as a kid. We all hated Bobby Heenan, you know, to me he was just an absolute monster, but at the same time, one of the best commentators of wrestling matches, Gorilla Monsoon, Bobby Heenan, uh, sometimes you'd have Mean Gene kind of take the mic, and of course Vince McMahon, they were great tandems, never a huge fan of uh, Jesse Ventura, wasn't bad, just, you know, I just prefer Heenan and Gorilla Monsoon on, on the mic. Love the figure. It is so great. And this is one of those figures that, you know, just because it's a manager doesn't mean it can't go up against any of the LJN wrestlers because this is a very playable figure. Fighting-wise, you know, clothesline punches, you could do body slam with this. Uh, great colors, great design. This is a, a fantastic piece. I don't want to quite call it elite, but I think I would have to put this on the top 25, top 30 if I had to make a list of my favorite LJN figures. Fantastic. Love this one. So there are a couple uh, customs here. Uh, this is the more recent version I've acquired. Uh, this came from uh, Buddy Daly, uh, Stanger GQ on eBay. And I've actually seen this exact figure on another uh, seller site. Maybe they may have done the color a little bit different, but you know, the red shirt with you know, the glitter and everything looks it makes it look really, really beautiful. And what I also like about this that you don't see on the original figure, they actually gave him a shirt with some buttons and a bow tie. That is just so awesome. And oddly enough, I have this listed as because I have two customs, I have this listed as my second favorite custom, but this is such a beautiful, gorgeous piece. And I'm actually loving all three of my uh, Bobby Heenan figures, custom or original. You really can't go wrong with either one or with either of the figures, any of the figures. It's just so well done. So I think the only discrepancy I could see on this, I think the nose looks a little bit pushed in, but cosmetic. I mean, not really cosmetic, but uh, that's actually a deformity to the rubber, but I mean, that's okay. I mean, who's really going to notice that? I mean, you got to basically be like this <laughs> in order to, to even see it. <laughs> Beautiful piece, Bobby Heenan. So, one of my top three favorite uh, sellers on eBay. I did a, a favorite uh, customization video, uh, my favorite customizers, uh, a few weeks ago. And he came up number five on my list. And to be honest, at that particular time that I made the video... Because I made the video, and maybe a couple weeks later I posted it, so this was probably more than a month ago when I actually made the video the first time around. All I had gotten from was was a few figures, uh, a few Hasbro figures, and uh, so I really hadn't acquired the number of figures uh, needed, per se, in order to you know rate him extremely high on my list. Uh, but if I had made that video a couple weeks later, top two, top three at worst... And again, one of the best sellers, and not just because of, you know, the human being that he is, you know, easy to work with, great communication. I, I like it because he actually does the customizations himself. So just an absolute amazing talent. And to me, he's got my favorite uh, Bobby Heenan version. Yeah, this one comes from uh, Robert Jackson on eBay. 
And again, guys, I'm going to leave their contact info in the bottom uh, just so you know who uh, who each figure comes from. And that way, if you want to check out their stores, oh, got a piece of hair or something dangling from them. So right off the bat, absolutely love the silver cardigan sweater. I don't know what you want to call it. The fact that he's got the name Bobby Heenan, beautiful cursive, stenciled right on the back there. That is so amazing. And when you put the figures together, I mean, you can take your pick, which one you like better. They're all great. There really isn't a wrong answer. Not for this particular figure. But, so the only thing that I would say I like more about this is the fact that they have the added clothing with the shirt and tie. But, I mean, you know, this one still most closely resembles the original. And such great detail artwork of the shirt. So, you know, that's why this is my favorite among the three figures. And, like I said, I mean, right now, we looked at all three figures, we're at six minutes, so it's one of the reasons why I want to kind of mix mix up and uh, put additional figures. And I'll probably do that for a few of these videos where I put two different characters in a video. So, this one is going to be Slick. Slick, big uh, manager, big boss man, and a slew of other folks, you know, has, in my opinion, not a terrible accessory. The hats are usually really good at LJN accessories, but this one is just such a tiny uh, piece. And, you know, actually kind of holding this up and looking at them, you don't really realize how closely that this figure resembles the Elizabeth figure. Now, I get it. Women are, you know, smaller and thinner, so you don't want to make the women, you know, these big bulky characters. But if you took an Elizabeth figure from LJN and gave it the shape of literally any of the wrestlers, Macho Man, you don't have to make them fat or look fat or, or bulky by putting them in a regular 8-inch, uh, you know, shape. Uh, the way that they made the Elizabeth figure where she looks like a Barbie doll. I hate that. They did the same thing. I got quite a few uh, loose Jacks uh, classic superstars. At least I think they're classic superstars. They may have been made from Mattel. I don't know. I bought them all loose. Bunch of female uh, action figures. And I bought them because I didn't have any female wrestlers at the time. And you know I wanted to acquire as many as I could as, as, as quickly as I could. And they all, they're all they like little Barbie dolls. I, I hate that. They're just small arms, small hands. And this figure... He, he, not quite the Elizabeth Barbie doll type size, but it's an extremely small figure. And I got to actually look up how, how big, you know, Slick actually was in real life. Uh, based on this size, I would say he was about five foot five. <laughs> but the design of, of the figure, you know, not bad at all. Uh, you can't really use it as a wrestler, you know, not really. But, you know, decent figure nonetheless. You know, kind of like a little pimp-looking guy here. <laughs> this one uh, also came from uh, Stanger GQ. And what I like about this one is they put a completely different take on his suit. And they even changed up his accessory. So you've got this tan suit, slick, with one of those old-style... 1920s newspaper uh, style hats. <laughs> when I looked at it the first time, I'm like, this isn't Slick's hat. I was, you know, obviously you can see them in photos and everything, but uh, it actually kind of reminded me of the Series 10 Hasbro Bushwhacker hats. But, you know, it's obviously it's something where you got to kind of sit up on there and, and just kind of like sit it down and leave it. You know, if you kind of move it at all, you're going to have this thing fall off. It doesn't really mold well to his head. I mean, accessory is an accessory. But, I don't know. I think in this particular figure, I wouldn't have mind if this one was actually uh, sculpted to the head. But such a, a beautiful design. And because I really love gray and, and I love the gray suit, it's really hard for me to say which one I like better. Uh, one of the negatives that I'm just kind of looking at is that the buttons and the little pocket chain here is kind of painted over but they got the little pocket square in there you got the rings which are noticeable 
so they didn't mess up the hands. Other than that, I mean, absolutely beautiful figure all around. We've got Slick, and I believe Slick was from Series 5, if I'm not mistaken. LJ in Series 5. Oh, we got Slick. Okay, cool. <laughs> So we're at about 10 minutes. Man, I, I should have really grabbed another set of figures because I could probably stretch this out to 15, 20 minutes if I got one more uh, set. But you know what? 10 minutes is good. You know, maybe with the shorter videos, that means I won't have to wait three days. Maybe I can get it done, you know, in two days or, or so. Yeah, wait two days to post the next video. I said before that I'm trying to get all my videos to 100 views prior to posting my next video, but a lot of the time that may not may not happen. It depends on you know what the actual interest is for that particular video. So I might have a video that's been up five days and has 30 views. You know you just don't know. But if I can get them to 100 views, I mean that's obviously one of my goals before I post a new video. Otherwise, I'll get this up in about three days after my next video. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, again, always appreciate your guys' viewership. You know, you guys are the best. Uh, leave a comment if you'd like. If not, I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.